All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy Dash the True and Fun Out. <laughs> Back at it with another throwback tunes on another Thursday. And we're going to bring back one of the two rappers whose album I reviewed over the past two weeks. But just one of them. I'm bringing back one of them. And the person I'm bringing back is Red Man. So I am reviewing Doc's The Name 2000. So this joint came out, despite the name 2000, this joint came out December 8, 1998, and it was recorded for 1997 to 1998 under Def Jam Recordings. Now, the producers involved were Eric Sermon, who was also executive producer, Reggie Noble, and if memory serves me correctly, that's basically Red Man. Yes, that is Red Man. Rock Router, Ronnie Size, and Gold Matic. Okay, those last two are new in terms of all the producers I named on this throwback tune series. And looking at the list, yeah, I have gotten everybody. So here's an interesting fact about this. It was a top seller, the album that is, initially shipping platinum in sales and reaching platinum sales in less than two months, which is pretty crazy if I do say so myself. All right. Let me give you guys some info on the chart. So this joint was 11 on the Billboard 200 charts. It was number one on the top RB slash, slash hip hop album charts. And it was 145th on the official album charts, which is basically the United Kingdom charts. And again, it was platinum with 1,056,000 copies sold. And it was platinum by the RIA, but by the MC, it was gold. All right. So there you go with that. Now, Here's the deal. There are a grand total of 24 tracks. However, do not be deceived. And here's where things could get a little bit confusing. So, here's the deal. So, there's a few skits on here. And some of them do sound like songs. And you may confuse some of them as actual songs. I mean, as skit, it, it's weird. It's really, really skit. Weird, rather. But, but 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 uh let me go through these skits real quick so we got one two three four five six yeah six skits and then there's two tracks here that i'm gonna count as skits as well even though red man do drop some bars in both of these tracks but i'm gonna count them as skits so out of these 24 tracks seven of them are skits meaning 17 of these tracks are actual songs. I can still give you guys a top five, not a top three. All right, let's go over these tracks. So the first track is Welcome to the Bricks. So the number two and then the DA, Welcome to the Bricks. And that's actually a skit, by the way. That's actually a skit. Next up is Let the Monkey Out. So the as in DA. And this is actually the third and final single off this album. This one came out sometime in 1999. And also, we're getting more on that track later and there's no music video for that by the way next up is the first thing off this album which is called i be that so, and you gotta say it like that too because that's how it's performed so b as in b e e and that b a t and then exclamation point and expect to see a lot of those exclamation points and question marks within the titles of these tracks by the way but yeah that's the first thing off this album and that's two singles right off the bat Track number four is called Get It Live, followed by another skit, which is called Who Took the Satellite Van? Duh, as in D-A. Track number six is called Jersey Yo, with the exclamation point. Track number seven is called Close Your Doors. So close, C-L-O-Z-E, y'all, Y-A, doors, with a Z at the end, not an S. And this joint features Diesel Dunn, Double O, Goldmatic, Roz, and Young Z. Track number eight is called I Don't Care, with a K. Very interesting. Track number nine, number what? Number nine is called Buddha Break, B-O-O-D-A-H. Now, this is one of the two tracks I was talking about. So Buddha Break is one of those tracks. It's more of a skit, despite the fact Red Man did indeed drop some bars. So, yeah, we're going to count that as a skit. Speaking of skits, track number 10, The Million Chicken March, Too Hot for TV. And that's a skit. And the Too Hot for TV was in parentheses. And, of course, the number two and the number four. Try number 11 is called Keep On 99, followed by Red, wait a minute, followed by Rail All Right Cha, featuring Method Man. So, right, R I T E, and Cha, C H A, obviously. Try number 13 is another skit called Pain in the, and then they got, you know, they censored the word ass, basically. Pain in the Ass Stewardess, and the as in D A. Try 
Try number 14 is called The Goodness. So D-A, The Goodness. Between Buster Rhymes, this is actually the second single off this album. So yeah, there's the third single right there. Try number 15 is called My Zone with the, you guessed it, exclamation point. Featuring Marky, aka Mr. Cream. Interesting there. Now, track number 16 is called Da Da Da. Yeah, I'm, I'm this is. So D A and then D A and then D A. Capital H, capital H, capital H. Like it's Triple H we're dealing with here. <laughs> you get the point. Track number 17 is another skit called GPN. That's all acronyms. Followed by Down South Funk. Featuring Eric Summon and Keith Murray. Track number 19 is called Dogs, which is all abbreviated. Track number 20 is called Beat Drop, which is the second skit, but could be considered a song. It's right because Red Man drops some bars, but, but for the most part, in my opinion, it's a skit. Big it up, skit. Track number 21, we got the Satellite Fan, which is another skit. So actually, there's eight skits. I apologize for the missed counting. Track number 22 is Brick City Mashing, without the G, but with the possibly. And with that, it's amazing point at the end. Track number 23 is called Superman Lover 4, featuring Dave Hoister. So Super, S-O-O-P-A-M-A-N, Superman. And Lover, L-O-V-A. And then this is the woman numeral number four. Then track number 24, the last track off this album is called I Got a Secret. So there's the three E's, S-E-E-C-R-E-T. I'm, I'm there, sir. All right, so let's take a look at the first thing off this album, which is called I Be That. So this joint came out October 8, 1998, and there's a music video for this album, for this song rather, and it did make the charts. It was 50th from the US Billboard Hot RB slash Hip Hop Singles and Tracks, and 30th from the US Hot Rap Singles charts as well. And that's pretty much it. Nothing else to say about that single. All right, now let's move on to the next single off this album, which is called The Goodness. So here's a little interesting fact about The Goodness, and I have no clue why. First of all, this single came out January 12, 1999. And secondly, the music video does not feature Busta Rhymes. So they cut off Busta Rhymes' part. They didn't mean like he was in the music video. His part in the song was not in the music video at all. I have no clue why, but that's how it is. And yeah, there you go with that. Now let's take a look at the charts. So this joint was 50th on the US, on the top RB slash hip hop, on the hot RB slash hip hop songs charts. And it was ninth on the hot rap songs charts as well. All right, and then the last song, or the last single rather, is called Let the Monkey Out. And this was not number 99th on the hot RB slash hip hop songs charts. And I have no clue there's a music video in this tonight. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no because I didn't see one. So I'm gonna assume that there is no music video for that third single. All right, so let me give you guys my favorite track off this album from Worst to First. And with all of that said, Super Love 4 is the worst track off this album. The tempo is straight, should have been faster. The melody is straight, the bass guitar is cool, the kick is cool, the snare is straight, overall the, is straight, right? overall the track is straight. All right, next up is My Zone. The tempo is cool, Melody is lackluster, expect that a lot, but straight. The bass is cool, but needs to be more banging. The kick is straight, the snare is cool, overall the track is cool. Next up is Jersey Yo. The tempo is straight, melody is cool, bass is really cool, kick is cool, same with the snare, overall the track is cool. Next up is I Don't Care. Tempo is cool, the melody is lackluster, but straight. The bass is straight, needs way more of it, and it needs to be banging. Kick is really cool, snare is cool. It's like a freestyle vibe a bit here, which is a plus. So therefore the track is cool nevertheless. I got a secret. The drum pattern is unique with the cymbals, but cool nevertheless. The tempo is cool, the melody is, you guessed it, lackluster, but straight. The bass is cool, but needs a bit more of it. The kick is cool, same with the snare wall, the track is cool. Next up is Dogs. Semi smooth here. The track is straight, should be faster. The melody is cool, same with the bass, but needs more of the bass. The kick is straight, the snare is cool, but the track is cool. Next up is Get It Live. Tempo is cool, the melody is, you guessed it, lackluster but straight. The bass is straight, needs way more of it. The kick is cool, same with the snare. Again, we got another freestyle vibe here to some degree. Overall, the track is cool. Next up is I'll Be There. The tempo is cool, same with the melody and the bass and the kick. The snare is really cool. Overall, the track is cool. Next up is The Goodness. 
The drum pattern is unique but cool. The tempo is really cool. The melody is cool. There's no bass, which actually hurts this track. The kick is cool. The snare is unique but cool as well. Overall, the track is cool. Next up is Brick City Mansion. The tempo is cool. The melody slash simple is cool. Same with the bass, then the kick, and the snare. Overall, the track is cool. All right, I'm about to give you guys my top five tracks off this album. The fifth best track off this album is Down South Funk. Somewhat smooth here. The tempo is cool, same with the melody. The bass is really cool, the kick is cool, the snare is straight, it's just too rigged for me. But overall, the track is cool. Number four, the fourth best track off this album, rather, Let the Monkey Out. The tempo is really cool, the melody is cool, needs a bass. The kick slash 808s are cool, the snare is cool, overall, the track is cool. The best track off this album, Well, All Right, Sir. The tempo is really cool. The melody is cool, same with the bass, but needs more of the bass, obviously. The kick is cool, same with the snare, overall, the track is cool. Second best track off this album, Close Your Doors. The tempo is really cool. Melody is really cool. The bass is cool. Same with the kick for this type of beat anyway. The snare is straight, but should have used a different one. There is potential here, but the track is still cool nonetheless. All right, and the, but the, the best track off this album rather is Keep On 99. Semi-smooth track right here. The tempo is cool. Same with the melody. The bass is really cool. Same with the kick. The snare is just cool. Overall, the track is cool. So yeah, Keep On 99 is the best track off this album. Followed by Close Your Doors and All and Well All Right You. Alright, let me give you guys some professional ratings. All Music gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Chris Gall's Consumer Guy, I think that's new, gave it an A-. The Encyclopedia of Popular Music gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The LA Times gave it a 3.5 out of 4 stars. NME and Rap Reviews gave it an 8 out of 10. And the Rolling Stone gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So, a lot of great reviews here. But what do I think about this album? Okay. Hmm. I'm going to say that this album is slightly better than Male Practice, which I did review a long time ago. And I gave that album a 2.5 out of 5 times. I said that album wasn't bad, but it wasn't impactful. This one, I'm going to say, was not impo- impactful well, but it had better songs. So I'm going to give this album, ooh, what should I give this album? I think I'm going to give this album a 2.75 out of 5. I recommend you download it, and it'll be up to you on whether or not you should keep it or not. Keep the download. So, yeah, 2.75 out of 5 stars. And that will do it for your boy. So, I'm going to call it a wrap. So, with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy, New Jack Gatsby, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.